All right, hey guys, so I'm not around other people. I'm gonna pull my mask down. But we are in Comala, the only Pueblo Magico in the state of Colima. So it's just a few minutes from Colima, Colima, this city, the capital. So I thought I'd come check it out today. And let's go take a look. Típico de aquí, de... De Colima, Estado. Ah. Gracias. Para servirle. ¿Dónde está? ¿Cómo se llaman los tacos? Tacos de España. ¿Son típicos de aquí? De Kumala, sí. No como carne, pero tenía curiosidad. Mira. ¿Y dijiste que tienen algo por fuera? Ah, es la, la grasita, lo del guajillo. Ah, ¿y el guajillo que era? Pues... Un chile. Sí, es como chile y ya lo licuan y, y embarran la, la tortilla. ¿Y pican? No, no pican. Simplemente es para que le dé el color a la, a la tortilla. ¿Qué tipo de carne? Es de puerco. Sí, de cebrada. Así. Muchas gracias. Sí, que le vaya bien.
Okay, so most of the tourism in Colima doesn't go to Colima, Colima, the capital, the city, main city in the state. But a lot of the tourism, again, I'm gonna take this down, now that anybody's around. But the tourism comes to here in Comala and also Manzanillo. So Comala is one of the Pueblos Magicos. There's like 116, 120 all throughout Mexico. Colima only has one Pueblo Magico and that's Comala right here. And the good thing is that if you're visiting Colima, it's just about a 20, 30 minute drive from the center of the city. And for me, actually, I was staying not too far. I was kind of planned it so I could stay in between uh, Colima and Comala to be able to see both. So it's a really pretty town. People have just been really surprised. I mean, Mexican people are just very friendly, very welcoming, very hospitable. But I've just been surprised here in Colima how lovely they are. Okay, we'll go this way. We're just taking a walk around right now. But yeah, lovely people, beautiful town. I think I'm going to go back to Guadalajara tonight. I was planning on staying for three days. And tonight's going to be the third night, but I might go back a little early uh, and skip tonight just because it's hot. I don't like the heat and there's no air conditioning. And it's just a two and a half hour drive back up to Guadalajara where it's nice and cool and comfortable. But we'll see, I might stay another night. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, this is a great town. I've really enjoyed my short time here. Uh, if you're in the area, I definitely recommend you coming to Comala. It's a really pretty place. So let's keep going. So look at this, got sea salt. Sea salt is apparently really popular from this region. We're not too far from the coast. And quanto cuesta una bolsa? So about uh, $1 for the bag of sea salt. And I bet you'd be paying a lot more than that wherever you're from in the United States, away from the coast. And this is apparently a really popular drink. ¿Cómo se llama? Ponche, Ponche. Y este Colima, o oh, Comada. Comada de aquí. So cool, that's a really typical drink from Comada. Slightly alcoholic, so I'm not able to have it. And of course, they sell these really pretty clayware. Gracias. All right, let's keep going. Hola. ¿Dónde estuvo? Sí. Sin cacahuates, por favor. Sin cacahuates. Chica mediana grande. Chica, por favor. ¿Cuánto es? 15. Gracias. Gracias. All right, so I got my tuba again, and this time I knew to ask for no peanuts because I didn't really like the peanuts. But I guess it's traditional, but I didn't really like them. So no peanuts for me today. But I think that that's gonna be about it for the video for today. I really enjoyed Colima, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys very soon, goodbye.